What producer worked you the hardest? Producer that worked me the hardest. No, that ain't it. Do it over again. You like, wait, I Damn. just did it yeah, 46 yeah. times. What the fuck is going man, on? <laughs> no one has ever told me to do a verse over, man. One time I did a. No, a, I'm not saying yeah. like go write the verse over, yeah, yeah. but you know, you might yeah, rap it. Not, yeah. No, do it a you, you, little bit more energy. Yeah, you know? yeah man. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Dre. Oh, Dr. Dre. Right, yeah, there we go. What did he tell you? There we go. <laughs> Cause I'm like, hold on. There's always one producer that's also. Yeah. I mean, they always saw that. Man, Dr. Dre sat right here. <laughs> and what he told well, you? I was right here. And what he told you? Just like, come on, man, take that shit back. <laughs> yeah, and like, do it over. So really, I was trying to explain to Dr. Dre that a southern black kid with an overbite is going to sound different than a suburban white kid from Detroit. It's just going. We're going. We're going to. Enunciate or whatever, pronounce yeah. stuff yeah. different. You yeah. know what I mean? And you know, he'd be like, "No, just you know, say it like this." And I'd be like, "Man, it was such a great experience." But it was so hard to. <laughs> it was like, oh, hey, shit. He, Dre because, wanted him to say shit the proper way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he, yeah, yeah. he just wanted me to, and he wants me to stack it a few. You know, I'm somebody. I do. I might do one pass. Just my voice. I just like yeah. people to hear just that one mm -hmm. voice, little reverb. But he like stack it again. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not good at saying the same thing the same way, you know, over stack it one more time. I'm like, damn, this is five times. Yeah, you like, you know, five. I'm like, wow, I don't normally. I really, I wish I could, I probably could be on another song in my own studio. Yeah, but I get <laughs> what he taught you then. Where, why he's where he is, he, he pays special attention to detail, he don't go for the first thing to come up. He really, I mean, everything was just so, if I had to really just zero down on the experience where the producer was literally sitting right here while I was trying to write or do my song, it would be Dr. Dre. And I wouldn't want it to be nobody else because that's the experience. I, I just don't, I just, I needed that experience. That was something on my bucket list. So, Did just. you ever, did you, have you ever been in, been around, a, you know, because you from the A, on the studio with Andre 3000? Yes. Yes. I mean, he came to one of my sessions one time Ye came to town to street and then Ye came and uh, Big Boy came and Bentley came and Sai High came and oh, 3K yeah, it, it came crazy, and we just had a auxiliary chord night you know what I'm saying and that's why I, that's how I found out that my song Watch Out was a single or a hit because it was like when I was playing my song they were like you know, what's this and, and, and it was from that thing but yeah I've been in the studio with him and he kind of got in the corner and you know, let you know what he was fucking with, like, and and, and wouldn't react if he wasn't fucking with it. But he's one of my favorite artists of all yeah, time. Yeah, every to everybody say stacks is like that guy. No nah, man, he's somebody. I, you know, I I just learned from just you know coming up. He was representing the South Side. He was being unique. He didn't care what people said about him. Mm -hmm. I love that. 